okay hello students uh, today we are going to discuss a uh, very very important property which is uh, finding a tangent excuse me tangent and normal of any parabola right that's going to uh, we are going to discuss a new trick right so how actually we can uh, solve uh, easily find the tangent and normal of any parabola without knowing any equation as such and they have a very uh, like added advantage also so let's assume you have a parabola y square equals to standard parabola will take is equals to 4ax right for instance let's assume so this will be the parabola will look like this approximately like this okay and that will be a we know that a right so let's assume you select a value here and at that point h comma k you need to find a tangent or a normal is that point so what you do simply you find the perpendicular here and that distance that coordinate will be what h you go exactly right hand side h left hand side sorry h and then you join this right exactly the same distance right if you travel this distance h same distance you will come h here right and that will be your equation of tangent okay so based on that if they say what is this distance you can calculate because you know the total this distance is 2h that you know already k so you can distance calculate this distance also if they say calculate the equation of tangent so you can calculate this is uh, basically uh, if you see that that coordinate will be minus h comma 0 and that coordinate is h comma k you can calculate easily you can calculate the tangent of the equation right using the equation or uh, using the formula y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1 okay same as let's assume uh, if they are asking calculate the normal okay for instance let's assume they are asking calculate the normal equation normal right so what we can do is we can calculate the normal also because we know the slope now tan theta which is perpendicular tan theta equals to perpendicular which is k divided by the base which is 2h and for normal the slope will become this will become what less than this is m for normal it will become minus 1 by m you use the same formula y minus y1 equals to minus 1 by m x minus x1 right you can simply calculate this so this is very very effective technique you try and then tangent or normal for a parabola should not be any problem you can easily calculate whatever uh, task they are asking and it's other usage people can't, uh, can't see look uh, just knowing for conic is not going to help us right we need to know everything whenever they are asking we need to know it how to finalize it how to get answers in every each and every cases so i'm going to uh, discuss one question which is based on uh, i would say uh, application of derivative but using this we can get that answer also just application okay we'll see just a minute okay now we are ready right so yeah so let's assume i have a parabola y is equals to x square plus 2 and they are asking find the minimum distance from the point uh, mm, i guess 3 comma 2 uh, just let me check once again uh, so this is our ncrt question asking multiple competitive exam also this is the we have this type of parabola first we will draw this parabola like this okay right yeah so uh, if let's assume i select a point h so another point will be obviously if i select x equals to h another point will be y coordinate will be x square h square plus 2 okay and that distance we know it it will be 2 that distance is 2 from there saying from a point 2 comma 3 mind it from a point 2 comma 3 right uh yeah sorry 3 comma 2 just one second 3 comma 2 you need to find the minimum distance 
So you see how we are using that application 3 comma 2. I want a minimum distance means this this distance right. We'll, we can use the property whatever I have taught you apart from conic we can use it here also. What we'll do let's assume this is this is 2 right and that is total this this distance will be what you will take this distance and that distance obviously the total distance is what h square plus 2 because it's a y coordinate. So this distance will be what h square we will go opposite side h square and that will be the equation of tangent correct. If I try to write this will be the equation of tangent right I to taught you just this whatever this distance same opposite side you will go to this distance just like this. If you have h comma k you go opposite side same distance if this is h opposite side h and that will be equation of tangent same I am doing this is h square so h square. So if I need to calculate the tan theta let's zoom for from here right so tan theta will be 1 perpendicular this distance correct right which is h square plus h square total distance this which is h square 2h square divided by base which is h. So tan theta slope will come as what? It will come as a h. You can solve this by just simple differentiation also because I want to explore new options and uh, I am a big believer of if you know one concept you can use multiple places. So I am just giving you uh, like another uh, way of solving. Same thing if you got h what you can do is uh, now you know that this is a slope tangent equation slope you know m and this is a perpendicular minimum distance will be always perpendicular so let's assume uh, from 3 comma 2 and this will calculate the slope of that one which will come as a uh, y2 minus y1 which is 2 minus h square minus 2 divided by x2 minus y1 this is 3 minus h and that will be equals to the because we have calculated slope sorry it's 2h we have calculated slope of tangent is this so slope of normal will be what m dash will be minus 1 by m and that we have calculated from here. So we equate this and this and calculate the answer. So minus 1 upon 2h equals to minus h square divided by 3 minus h. Okay. If you solve it you will get h equals to 1. The moment you will get h equals to 1 you will get the another coordinate because our coordinates for what h comma h square plus 2. So if you are getting this one so other coordinate will be 3. So from 1 comma 3 you need to find the distance between 3 comma 2. So you use simple distance formula y2 minus y1 whole square x2 minus x1 whole square and you will get root 5. That is a minimum distance that is a point where you will get it. So you see here what we have understood is uh, just by simple technique we can find the tangent normal related to any question. So just try to uh, encourage yourself try to try to explore more options using this such that you will have a confidence like multiple ways you can solve the same questions. Okay, so uh, that's it for today and for any product, any services, just kindly contact us, right. So we'll provide to best of the services and best of the knowledge we have for your coming exam. Okay, all the best.